So ladies and gentlemen, here we go with Senshi 20, our 20th anniversary event. Five years ago, Senshi was born and we've been on a journey to greatness ever since, upholding the traditions of martial arts, honor, respect, humbleness in defeat and uh, honor, uh, sorry, honor in defeat and uh, humbleness in victory. Andy, I'm joined by Andy Sauer, absolute K1 legend. Andy, we've gone from step to step with each Senshi event that I've worked with you, and each time we seem to see an improvement. The crowd here this time is bigger and better. The energy doesn't lie. The energy no, exactly. is electric. I think we can ha we're going to see great fights, and I, I already think this, the, f the first fight is already an amazing fight. Yep, the matchups tonight don't go from experience right up the fight card. We're going on weight category, from the lightest weights up to the heaviest Heavy weights. Weight. So every event here on Ascenshi no! is a main event. Whoa! We don't have a main event. Every fight is classified as a main event. Now, oh, we have Serbia versus uh, versus Bulgaria here. Uh, Ognjan Mirchev in the blue corner facing uh, Uros Neskovic from Serbia. Now, what's interesting is Ognjan Mirchev fought on Senshi 1 when he was 19 years old, and Uros Neskovic from Serbia is fighting at 19 years of age. And at the press conference yesterday, they asked Uros Neskovic, is he nervous, is he apprehensive being only 19? But he's fighting someone who won in their debut on Senshi at 19 years of age. And it's a great story already. You know, as we can see, you know, the both fights are really look, look strong, look flashy, look, looks explosive. Sapo against Orthodox. Awesome to see what these young guys can do tonight. And Neskovic looks, he's got a look of intensity about him. Exactly. And these guys, this is under 70 kilos. And these guys, they're fast, but you can't underestimate the power. Just because they're 70 kilograms, the, these shots are concussive. And the low kick, if you get kicked by someone at 70 kilos, okay, it's not as powerful as a 120 kilo guy. But man, it's still a baseball bat, isn't it? It's snappy, you know, it's, it's, it's hurting, it's, it's, it's more tiny, the, the shins are tiny, less heav heavier, but yeah, then again, it's more sharp. You know, as you can see, you see Neskovic is really waiting for his oh, moment. Oh, that was a lovely straight right there. Before I said it, <laughs> yeah, he's waiting for his opportunity, looking slick, feeling the distance, aiming for the right distance, the right moment, as, you, as we can see, is that Mirchev is waiting, hesitating. He is under pressure. He doesn't feel comfortable. He is not ready for it so far. That's an interesting analysis. Now, Neskovic has got some blood around the nose, but look how high. Oh. That's a lovely exchange, very powerful. Look at uh, Mirchev. He's holding his left hand very high yep. to the temple, and he's got a big red mark on his body from Neskovic. I believe that was a kick earlier on in the round. There it is again, aiming for that spot. Yep. He's I leaving himself very open to the body, don't you exactly. think? And I also think that his left hand is pretty good, you know, to, to open, open up, but he doesn't move. He, he stays in front of uh, Neskovic so far, so it's pretty easy to, to hurt, to, to hit. So I would recommend to Merchev to, to move a little bit more and use his le leading arm a little bit more. Just to oh, that was a lovely oh, right yeah. hand there, did he? Well, Albert Krauss was right on top of the action. And Both sides exchanged a lot of punches. Oh, what, now, what is wrong? Oh, damn. Well, there was a, sh a low blow there right at the end of the round. And uh, Neskovic, <laughs> he didn't complain to the referee, so uh -huh. fair, fair play to him. He's a warrior. And... Um, I don't. I can't remember the, the time that I've seen any fighter come out of Serbia, um, who I would say wasn't ready to lay it all on exactly. the line. Exactly. Um, and at 19 years of age, there he took one downstairs in the Crown Jewels, and he looks very composed over there yeah. in between the round, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So far, I think he didn't do that much. I think he wasn't in control for his feeling. I think in the next round he needs to move a little bit more, get his rhythm, 
into to the fight because so far Neskovic is taking the rhythm, taking the lead. So really looking strong and he could explode on every moment. That's what he shows. And a, and a difficult one to score, but as I do here at Senchi, I put my reputation on the line. I'm going to give that first round to the red corner by a, by a hair. So 10-9 on that first round to Neskovic. Now these shots, Andy, every single punch and kick by, thrown by each fighter, these aren't feeling out punches and kicks, are they? They're, everything's being thrown with power. Yeah, yeah, they don't play. It's not amateur. While Neskovic is an uh, amateur fighter, right? He's so young and so experienced, right? Yeah, he's, uh, he's a Waco Junior European champion. Um, he's a Waco Balkan champion mm -hmm. and a Waco European Cup Sarajevo Open champion. He's a national Serbian champion, all at 19 years of age. So even though he's now in the pro ranks, he yeah. is very experienced Experience. in the amateurs. Beautiful. Beautiful to see that such, such a young guys are so experienced already and looking like they are having pro fights for, for, for years. But strong, strong power shots, nice technique, great lines. But you know what I notice? I'm, I'm going to have to say this. Um, when I watch kickboxing at this level, mm -hmm. it's high level, it's world class, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But when they throw these combinations, at the end of it, there's something Dutch missing. Yeah, yeah. That and low the, kick at the yeah, end yeah, of the yeah, yeah. at the end of each combination. And you watch a Dutch fighter yeah. come in, boom, 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 low kick at the end. It's like uh, like thunder. It's like feeling like they they're finishing off like yeah. they're rotating so much like boom, 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 to end up with the low kick. That's that's nice to see. You know, it feels like it's a finishing touch, right? <laughs> yeah. It's the icing on the cake. Yeah, there you have one. Yep. And it's very difficult at this weight. They're so they're so quick, so sharp mm -hmm. that it's very difficult to land a low kick just on its own. Heavyweights they tend to do that more. Boom, just without setting it up. But I don't think you can do that here that successfully without throwing a combination to to leave your opponent on the back foot. Exactly. Boom, land yep. that low kick. Yep. And they're so effective. Um, I think Mechev is getting better and better. He's more standing, more stable, and more precise, but still, they are, they are fainting, they're acting like they want to touch you, so they're still so sharp. They have a lot of energy left. For, for oh, good. that was a big left hook there on the side of the head. Oh. They exchanged a lot of punches and kicks. They're missing, they let each other miss, and that's also a really good skill. To let somebody miss and to come back. Waste their energy, yep. yep. And I'd say Neskovic, the younger fighter here at 19 years of age, he's the more powerful. Yeah, I do so, but also Neskovic is, uh, is hurt on the nose. Now, for anybody watching at home for the first time, welcome to Senshi. Bulgaria's premier combat sports event. We've got everything here tonight. We have kickboxing, Muay Thai, and mixed martial arts. And really, the event, the, the crowd here tonight, we're full up. The arena is sold out. I'm looking around here. We're, our sponsors, BMW, Rolls-Royce, Bulgarian Air. Um, the event leaves nothing to the imagination, really. The setup is truly world-class. And we really are upholding the traditions of, tra of true martial arts. Um, it's a very respectful event, and it has the flavor of K1. We've got numerous legends here. Andy Sauer, wow. Albert Kraus, Ernesto Hoop, Jan Sukup, to name just a few. Exactly. So, really, the, the, uh, every event around the world, every brand has its own flavor. But Senshi has got it's something very, different. Oh, yeah. it's it's different. It's very special, I have to say. Yeah, we so, feel comfortable. We as old legends, we've seen it a lot. We've seen a lot. We've seen it in Japan, K1 time, and all over the world we fought. So we have a lot of experience in this. And uh, I can say it's the, the biggest growing martial arts platform, in my opinion. Yeah, and I, 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 was, uh, I was talking to someone earlier. I don't think you could ever recreate 
um, K1. That's it. So it's not, there's no point in recreating it, but you can take some of that, um, of something from K1 and create something world class to this day. Exactly. I think I think nowadays it's a modern time. I think you still need to change a little bit, you know. Uh, but the old standards, it has to be right. You know, yeah. we don't have to uh, find a new thing. You know, it's just uh, the former uh, the former thing. And, and just with new specialties, you know, special fighters, other fights, special other fighters rules. with special personalities and exactly. superstar and quality. Making. And yeah. I, I, you know, Andy, I'll say something. When you guys walk in a room, yourself, Albert Kraus, Ernesto, mm -hmm. Semi Shield, it, it's not, you have a presence about you. There's some energy that comes with yeah. you guys. So when you're called legends, oh, you might feel uncomfortable about being called a legend and people, you know, saying you're a superhero in uh, oh, stuff. To be honest, uh, Grant, I, I don't think so. I don't feel myself a legend, but, you know, but I can understand that people see us as legends because we were, we made some history in the past, so we are great examples. So in that case, I think we are examples, but yeah, to be called legends is a big game. But nowadays, they call, they call it legend. And yeah. I, I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. But uh, uh, we're more than that. I hopefully we can help the guys and the fighters out here in Sanchi. And create some new legends. Uh, create new legend to help them with our experience in the past. And uh, to create new legends, like you said. And enjo enjoying the fight game. And Oi! On the body. Well, that on was a body shot. Yeah. That was a left kick wow, wow, to wow, the wow, liver. Wow, wow, wow. Just below the floating rib. That is a surprise. And it just shows you how effective exactly. a technique can be in the right place. But. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. And he was already aiming for it. Man, we got 30 seconds left. All the three left. rounds. He was aiming for the body shot. And there it is. Finally. Well, Neskovic has to hold his composure here. He doesn't want to take another shot in the same place. And that means that this this round probably... Oh, there's another one for the body. This round is probably a 10-8 oh, at the moment. He's going for a liver shot with a punch and a knee. Three, two, one. Wow, that's the end of that round. And we were talking romantically about K1 <laughs> Legends. And then that fight... I believe turned around in that third round. Don't forget, first the first fight of the evening. Man, yes. these youngsters, they, 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 they made the standards higher and higher each time. Yeah, that's worth pointing out. 24 wow. years of age in the blue corner and 19 years of age. Man, 19 years of age. And to fight and at this level. You see, he's aiming a lot for the body. And it's not just the fight, is it? It's the platform they're fighting on. Mm. In front of, under the lights, in front of the cameras, and uh, with Albert Kraus refereeing, and now Ernesto Hoost presenting um, the trophies. But we go to the judges' scorecards. Man. It, well, I don't know if I want to say it, but I'm going to... Because that no. third and final round, <laughs> what yeah. are you going to say? To be honest, we, can, we have to do this. Every, every Who are you going to go with? I'm Who are you going to go with? Here, Quick. I want blue. Man, I'm going red. Okay. Lady in <laughs> red. <laughs> but now for sure, blue. If not, I'm going to eat my shoes. In favor of the blue corner. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see. Yeah. That again. You see, ladies I'm and gentlemen. I'm still a winner, right? A legend versus an amateur. <laughs> Andy Sauer oh. called it, and that was a fantastic opening to our 20th anniversary event here in the Palace of Culture and Sport. What a, what a name for an arena <laughs> in the absolutely gorgeous city of Varna in Bulgaria. Yes. And okay. anyone who hasn't visited Bulgaria, let me tell you something, you are missing out. Really, it's a fantastic country, fantastic people. The Balkans is it, it's, it's fantastic oh, yeah. all over, oh, yeah. but Varna especially i mean today it's february it's the exactly. winter and the sun was shining it was fantastic but here we have a winner of our first fight from bulgaria ognan mirchev from the blue corner and that was a cracking fight grant it was a pleasure sitting next to you again well and again it, it was an honor to for have you, a I little agree. win from you and thank uh, you I'll see you soon, Andy. See you guys. Bye-bye. Andy, Andy Sauer goes off now because he will be refereeing the next contest.
which is Bulgaria versus Spain. Coming up, ladies and gentlemen, is Konstantin Stoikov from Bulgaria facing Carlos Garcia from Spain. Andy Sauer there, one of our legends. He is putting his gloves on, ready to referee our next contest. And I'm gonna be joined very soon by Albert Kraus. What a way to start the oh, evening. As I said at the beginning, five years ago since she was born with a vision of creating a world-class event and leaving a legacy for our organizer, Sheehan Kamenov, who really has put everything into this event. Oh, we look at the setup, it's world-class. We look at the fight card, fight. it's world-class. And every for time we come here, we get better and Once better. Again, you're fighting under the 